Today we're going to make a log splitting attachment for my machete so that I no longer need a hatchet. Machetes and hatchets are both great tools that I use for different reasons. I use a machete for clearing brush and occasionally taking the top off a coconut. I mainly use a hatchet for splitting firewood. I want to combine the wood splitting of the thick bladed axe with the slicing capabilities of the machete. A well sharpened machete has no trouble slicing right through thick PEX tubing, whereas the thicker axe struggles to make it all the way through. I have definitely used a machete to chop firewood before, but it struggles to make it all the way through tough fibrous woods like hickory or mesquite. The wedge-shaped hatchet, meanwhile, transfers that energy out and easily splits the hickory. All right, let's get to the fabrication. This is a machete I recently bought off of Amazon. I really like the design and it's only about $22. I'm gonna make this splitting attachment out of a scrap piece of angle steel. I cut two three inch long pieces and trimmed the shorter flange just so it was about three quarters of an inch long. I then used a flap disc on my angle grinder to round over the edges. I then trace the profile of the angle steel onto some scrap plate steel and cut out these wedges which are going to make the fins that do the splitting. I cut six of these pieces, three for each side. This multi-angled vise sure came in handy for preparing the steel for welding. I'll put a link to it and the other tools that I use in the description box below. I placed the splitting fins just about an eighth of an inch in from the edges and then welded them to the angle steel. I do all my welding with a very simple, forny, easy welding machine. It's just about 400 bucks and I've used it from everything for furniture all the way up to building an entire shipping container house. I'll put a link to it in the description box below. These splitters are going to take quite a bit of impact so I made sure to weld the fins on from both sides. I use wire brushes on my angle grinder and drill to clean up the welds. I sharpened the first side with a flap disc on my angle grinder and this worked just fine. But if you really want to put a precise edge on it, a belt grinder like this Amera braid works fantastically. I marked the location on the splitters for the bolt holes, sprayed some lubricant, and then drilled right through them. I drilled pilot holes first before drilling the final one quarter inch diameter holes. I traced the location of the holes onto the machete itself and then drilled through that as well. I used quarter inch hex bolts and split ring washers to attach the two splitters and because I don't want these moving around when I'm cutting through logs to screw them on nice and tight using a socket wrench. I then use my Ryobi rotary tool to trim the bolt flush to the nuts. And now the testing. I had no trouble splitting tough hickory logs but the paracord wrapped around the blade started to come loose so I just pulled it right off. In addition to the wider profile, the added weight of the splitters really helped. Now we got a lot more testing to do, plus a whole bunch of other machetes and swords to show you. But first, a word from our sponsor. Over 22 million IT professionals, small business, local government, students, engineers, programmers, makers, tech enthusiasts, gamers, computer product and electronic device customers have relied on Micro Center for their communication and information technology support needs since 1979. That's a long time. I was just one years old. Micro Center provides the essential services and technology to support the health, safety, and welfare of our communities. Now, as one in five Americans has been ordered to stay at home, Micro Center can provide you with the essential technology support products and service to work, learn, and receive telemedicine from the safety of your home. Get the best prices and best selection on PC components and technology at any one of Micro Center's 25 locations across the United States and join the Micro Center community to give and receive advice on PC hardware and part selection. 
and to discuss tech with other enthusiasts. Check out the Micro Center Custom PC Builder to spec out the best PC at your price point. Thanks to Micro Center for sponsoring this video and be sure to check the links in the description to get a free 32 gigabyte flash drive and a 32 gigabyte micro SD card like the ones I shot this video on. So check out Micro Center and click those links in the description. All right, back to chopping. Hickory is a pretty good test since it is so tough and fibrous, but I didn't have any super large pieces, so I decided to try a piece of 6x6 cedar. I had no trouble splitting off a piece, but the splitters did get stuck in the wood, and I decided to reduce the width of the splitters just a little bit. So I went back to the Amer braid and ground them down so that they were just about half an inch wide. I still think I could make it a little bit narrower, but it's going through these logs like butter. If I was to modify anything, I might make the splitting fins a little bit wider and perhaps weld a piece of steel along the back to connect the two halves. This would just provide more functionality of using this machete as sort of a makeshift sledgehammer, which would come in handy around the desert when I need to drive in steel signposts or things like that. Now I've been testing a lot of different machetes and swords that are under $50 and can be ordered from Amazon. I'm evaluating them by price, durability, weight, and how easily they can be modified for my particular purposes. I'm thinking about doing a video that shows all of these different options and tests them out. And if that's something you'd be interested in seeing, let me know in the comment section below. So far, I've ordered eight of these, and they range widely from budget-friendly and practical to cheap and ridiculous. A completely DIY machete is not too difficult, but with how inexpensive these are, I think it's best to buy one and then modify it to meet your needs. The cold steel ones in the front are heavy duty and have nice rugged plastic handles, but I still like the one that I got. It has a real wood handle and the blades held up really well with no bending, even though I've done quite a bit of chopping. In the interest of full disclosure, not every log split totally cleanly, but all of them definitely split enough to the point where you could pull them apart by hand. I would say that this setup works about 90% as well as my hatchet, but the reduced weight and the ability for it to also slice through tough brush like creosote, which is really common out here, make it my go-to carry in the back of my truck. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out some of our other videos and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already.